Hello, my name is Hamida and today I'm going to show you in this video the process of administering medications to the patient. The purpose of this educational video is to ensure safe and accurate administration of prescribed medications. First of all, this video will explain the nurse's role and responsibilities of administering medications through different routes such as oral, nasal, topical and injectable medications such as subcutaneous, intramuscular and intravenous. The dedicated medication nurse in each ward will check and prepare the medication with the primary nurse and perform the medication round to determine the need of whole unit medications requirements at a particular time during the shift. Before starting this procedure, the nurse should check the prescription in the medication chart in the patient's electronic records. The nurse should check in the electronic patient's record for the following. Patient's name, drug name, formulation and strength, dosage and frequency, route of administration, start date and time. Check patient's allergy. Ensure about patient's own medications for reconciliation. Check and ensure patient's non-stock medication supplies are adequate. Perform hand hygiene before drug administration. Check the right drug with the second nurse according to the physician's prescriptions in the electronic patient's record for the following identifiers. Drug name, order dosage and dilution, drug formulation such as tablet, syrup, injections and suppositories, stop dose and strength, expiry date. For IV medications, prepare IV medication or infusion in the medication room. Dilute medication according to the manufacturer's recommendation. Label the prepared injectable medications or infusions with the following information. Patient's name and medical record number, drug or fluid added, strength and concentration, amount of added volume, total volume prepared, date and time infusion started and expires, name and ID of the nurses who prepared and checked the medication. Use patient's own medications for the following categories. Oral contraceptives, inhalers, insulin pens, and not available medications in the hospital pharmacy. Label prepared medication in the presence of the second nurse. Greet and explain to the patient about the drug administration. Perform hand hygiene. Ensure patients have the ID band with the clear identifiers, such as name, medical record number, and date of birth. Identify the patient by verbalization, visualization, and verification. Nurse should practice checking for six rights of drug administration, right patient, right medication, right dose, right route, right time, and right documentation. Be aware of look-alike, sound-alike medications. Witness the consumption of the drug by the patient before leaving the bedside. Document only after the drug has been administered. Document and update the patient's medication chart in the electronic patient record immediately after the drug administration. In the event of health information system shutdown, the administered drug is signed by both the primary nurse and medication nurse in the hard copy of the inpatient medication sheet. Monitor the patient health condition by checking the vital signs. Report any adverse drug reaction to the doctor. Write an incident report for any adverse drug reaction. At the end of this educational video, I would like to highlight for the following points. First dose of IV push antibiotic must be given by a doctor of the unit. First dose of intravenous infusion antibiotic is administered with the presence of a doctor. Medication nurse should not be interrupted during the preparation of the medication to avoid any medication error. Medication nurse and primary nurse should take extra care of high alert medications and these medications should be kept locked in the medication room. These medications include magnesium sulfate, potassium chloride, 3% sodium chloride and heparin. Verbal orders are limited to only emergency cases when written orders in the electronic patient records are not feasible. The nurse should record the verbal or telephone order on a verbal order book starting the date, time and name of physician 
Additionally, the nurse should read back the order. Then, the nurse should document this order in the electronic patient record after the medication is administered. The primary nurse can only administer a drug after she or he successfully completed the drug calculation workshop and IV therapy course. Here is the end of this nursing educational video. I hope that you have understood the process of medication administration. Thank you for watching.